All right, I've got my scientist lab coat on. I'm ready to school you about cancer cells and dichloroacetic acid. Normal cells with undamaged mitochondria use a process called respiration, which you might have heard of. It uses oxygen, and that's how they generate their energy. However, cells in tumors that are cancerous don't have perfectly functioning mitochondria, so they use a function called glycolysis to generate their energy. The funny thing about cells that are using glycolysis to generate energy is that they lack one other function called apoptosis, in which when they're dangerously damaged, they basically self-destruct. They don't get to do that here. In January of 2007, some researchers over at the University of Alberta in Canada decided to try to reactivate the mitochondria and reactivate apoptosis so that the obviously dangerously damaged cells would self-destruct and the tumors would shrink and the cancer would basically be cured. Well, they found the drug that does that. It's called dichloroacetic acid, also known as DCA. And it did restore mitochondrial function, which restored apoptosis. And they did a phase one clinical study, and they found in animals that it was killing cancer. Unfortunately, and I say that with a heavy heart, DCA was actually first discovered and used back in 1864, thus making it part of the public domain and totally unpatentable, which to pharmaceutical industry, totally unprofitable. If you're wondering why you're just hearing about this now, that's exactly why. It hasn't gotten the attention it needs because there isn't money in it. And due to that, the phase two study has only just recently happened. And it has been very small and it did still show promising results. But again, promising results don't really matter to a pharmaceutical company because they can't profit off of something that's not patentable. Now, the researchers who have done this did start the patent application process for the use of DCA in cancer treatment. Apparently you can do that. But, I mean, that's probably not going to be enough. We need somebody or something who can mass manufacture this in the end. First we need to get the money for further study so it can get approved. And then of course we can mass manufacture it and, you know, start caring people. I hope by now you're wondering what you can do to try to help get this drug tested and out curing cancer. Well, it's actually kind of easy what you can do. I've got a link below directly to a donation website for DCA research at the University of Alberta and you can just simply donate whatever amount you want and help them get this research funded and get the drug out to people and tested and good and make people better. I mean, I, I, it drives me crazy! Let's get DCA and its research the attention that it deserves. Let's help a lot of people.